a little bit of paint will make your Toro machines look better and last longer. Here's how it's done. Touch-up painting isn't all for show. Scratches and painted metal can turn to rust that gets worse over time, eventually causing structural damage. So it pays to protect your investment with Toro brand spray paint. Using authentic Toro paint guarantees that you'll get a perfect color match. And these quality paints are specially formulated to hold up under tough conditions. Touch-up painting isn't hard, but to get the best results, you need to take your time and do it right. And be sure to review the important safety information in your owner's manual before you start any maintenance project. First, prep the area you want to paint. It's a good idea to paint beyond the blemish spots to blend the new paint in with the original finish. Tape a boundary around the spray area with good quality masking tape. Then use big sheets of plastic or paper to cover up the entire area around your workspace. Aerosol paint has a pretty broad spray pattern, so be sure to seal up any cracks or edges where paint could get through. Next, you need to prep the damaged areas. That means sanding any scratches or rust down to the bare metal using 60 or 80 grit sandpaper. Also, scuff up any painted surfaces that you'll be recoating with 350 grit sandpaper or coarse steel wool. This is important because new paint won't adhere to the original paint if you leave it smooth. Now you're ready to start painting, but remember, paint fumes and dust can be harmful to your health. Make sure your workspace is well ventilated and wear a good quality respirator. Coat the bare metal areas with a sandable, lacquer-based primer. Hold the nozzle at least six inches away from your target area and apply the paint in light, even coats so you don't get any blobs or runs in the paint. Allow the primer to dry thoroughly between layers. You can use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. Give the bare metal areas three to five coats of primer. When the last coat is dry, wet sand the primed areas with 350 grit paper until the surface is smooth to the touch. Now apply the Toro spray paint the same way you did the primer, in light, even coats. Allow each coat to dry completely between passes. If you see or feel any blobs or runs, smooth out the paint with 1000 grit sandpaper. Good painting takes patience. It's tempting to slather on the paint, but a thick coat doesn't harden as well and tends to scratch easier. If you're doing it correctly, getting a complete, even covering should take three to four coats. When you're finished, let the paint cure for two days. That'll toughen up the surface and reduce the risk of paint chips when you remove the tape. That's all there is to it. Remember, a little fresh paint will keep your Toro machine looking great and extend its life for years to come.